Hey, it's Thursday on the Daily Chuckle here at GlobalComedy.com. My name is Jordan Cooper. I'm here all week. All week. With comedian Patrick Pasifume. And uh, I have a question to ask you, Pat. Let's go. What happens when you get a phone number call and you have no idea what, who it is? Like if it's a restricted number or if, like I answer my phone no matter what because I have no friends. <laughs> so I'm happy if the phone rings at all. But I know a lot of people that they get an unknown number and they just go, I don't know what who it is, and they put their phone back. In the I do, I do that occasionally. Like if I don't know who it is, I'll let it go to voicemail. If it's important, they'll leave a message. That's the way I figure it. Or if, uh, like for instance, on my home phone, uh, it kind of tells you who it is on like the cell phone, it just gives you the number. Uh, but if it's like a telemarketer, I'll pick that up in a heartbeat and just mess with them because it's just fun. Like the uh, last one I got was a researcher from a university. I don't remember which one. But she called and she was like, do you, uh, of course I, I answered it with a horrible accent. I was like, hello, can I help you? And she was like, do you have any kids? And I was like, I have four kids. And she was like, how, how old are they? And uh, I was like, three, 12, and 12. And she was like, how old uh, is the, or when's the next, next one's birthday? And I was like, they will not be having one if they do not act right because I beat the shit out of my kids. And she was appalled and didn't know what to say and yet continued to ask the same question. Well, when's his birthday? And I was like, I will beat him. He does not have no birthday. And she was like, no, but sir, when? And then she just kept asking, so I hung up on her. She was very con very consistent. Well, why did she need to know, I know. your fake son's <laughs> birthday? I guess it was a study for kids. I don't know. what it, I didn't pay attention. I just thought it would be funny to do a horrible accent and pretend to beat children. Then I thought maybe she'll call someone, and then I'll have like cops come to my house. And then see that there are no kids, and that'll be just a whole ordeal. And then, like, we heard a foreign guy in here beating kids. And then you have your friend come over and just pretend that it's yeah, shit. shit. Or I get like a, my nephew and beat him. So that's what you do when I know phone numbers yeah. come up. You just basically fuck with people. Yeah, and it's horrible if someone's like, hey, we wanted you to come in for an interview, but <laughs> obviously you're not getting it now. Like, yeah, you're going out on a job search and like, oh yeah, well, like yeah. I beat my children. Yeah. It has its downfalls, I guess, but it's funny. That's all that matters. But you, but how come you don't do that on your cell phone? Because that one, I have no idea if it's a telemarketer or if it is me legitimately trying. To you ever have phone. someone call you on the phone from a different number, so they're not in your contact? And yeah. You, and you have that weird moment where, like, you don't completely recognize his voice, so they go, "Hey, what's up?" And you're like, "Hey, <laughs> you." <laughs> Like, you're like, you, you don't even want to say who is this because you feel like weird because, like, they obviously think that you know who this is. Mm -hmm. And you have to go, who is this? And they go, it's your father. <laughs> I was about to say, isn't it sad that it's, that's happened with my mom? She'll, I know I've got her in my phone, but then she'll call from work. But I won't, like, really, like, I'll be tired or whatever. And then I won't know until she starts, like, yelling at me. Like, this dude, what do you know who this is? I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry. That's... Sad. Why can't you just be like the other people? Bitch, leave a voice man. Because <laughs> I live at home and she beat me. That's well, my life. Well, let's take a look at a clip from Michael Malone about what he does when he gets unknown phone numbers on his cell. I'm really single. I got this girl's number the other night. And she goes, don't be offended if I don't answer on the first try. I don't answer the numbers. I don't know. Okay, whatever. But it got me thinking a lot of girls are like that. You just freak out to see that unknown number, right? I don't know what it said. Don't, don't touch it. Don't even look at it. I don't know what it is. It's unknown. What are you so afraid of? What's the worst that could happen, you know? Nobody's ever been like phone raped. Literally, hello? Take off your shirt. Who is that? I got a knife. Freak out. Could be creep up. Could be creep up in the bar. Don't answer it. Could be creep up. <laughs> These girls don't answer that phone for the same reason we men answer that phone. Like, well, yeah, I don't know who this is. Might be that skank from the other night. <laughs> Yellow. <Yeah. laughs> you want to go to the movies? <laughs> And 
And that was Michael Malone. You can check him out all this weekend, Thursday through Sunday, at the Comedy Caravan. He's headlining there. You can go get tickets right now at ComedyCaravan.com. Come to a show. Support local Louisville comedy. LouisvilleComedy.com. We'll see you tomorrow on another edition of The Daily Chuckle.